those that are new, uh, we're Rick and Deb Purcell, and we are healers. And we do these once a month, free healing webinars. Uh, and this month, at the end of this month, we will start doing this in the Southern Hemisphere of Australia, New Zealand. Uh, we have a web website, uh, healteachlove.org, where you can read on the first page all about uh, how this began with us. And uh, we do this with Phil. Take it away, Phil Barrow. My, my turn. Yeah, I've been, uh, I love this actually, but it's a shame. Sometimes we get 50, sometimes we, get, we just don't know how many will come here. But uh, I've been healing for, since I was four, uh, for 51 years. I started naturally. Uh, I didn't know anyone could heal. I mean, in fact, I thought everyone could heal. I thought it was just normal uh, until I realized as I was growing up, that uh, it's not normal. Then I got credited 20 years ago. I do voluntary in, in two places. And the knowledge I bring is from different aspects of different past lives I've been. Uh, the Raphael part, the Hermes part, and the Merlin part. So sometimes someone asks a question and it takes a few minutes for me to work it out. It's just I'm channeling some of my aspects and they're trying to work out what the question is and what, what the answers are and then they, they just give it back. So sometimes you wonder why it's a slow pause and I'm just trying to get the information if it's a complex one. But uh, any anyone wants an healing to eat tonight, that's be fine. Uh, I use various systems and sometimes new ones. So uh, you might, if you're a spiritual healer, just, you might learn some healing techniques. So that's about it. <laughs> So how it works with Rick and I, Rick is uh, connected to source energy, creator, God, whatever name you want to give him. Um, he scans you and I get a down, the downloaded information so I actually can see inside your body. Um, and uh, I start telling you what messages are that I'm receiving and we go from there. All right. So um, we can remove attachments. Um, and if you want to just ask your questions or start listing things in the in the chat pane on the right hand. And right now, I have Davina. She's asking if we could assist her to check her left eye and her left hand side, actually. Yes, we can. Uh, do you want some healing as well? She's um, asking us to check her left eye, her, her left hand side. Okay. Actually seeing something behind her eye. Oh, do you see that snake thing behind her eye? Oh, it looks like a worm. My Archangel Michael. All right, it's being removed now. There's also one in your back. You know, I, I know where these came from, but I don't want to discuss it here. I'll talk to you later. I'm overeating now. That's felt like a parasite burning out. Mm -hmm. It felt like a, it felt like a spiritual parasite was burning out. I'm they very, are. Very, 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 very I know hard. exactly where they came from. Thank you so much, because I keep feeling like uh, something in my eye, but I checked every, yeah. it's been more than one week or two weeks. And behind my uh, back, the two bones, you could feel like, you know, like electric, but yes, something. Yeah, I know where you got them, and um, I know exactly how you got them, and you're the second person I removed one from this week, and I know exactly where you got them and I will explain where later. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Okay. Did you did you feel the eat coming up? To to get rid of them yourself, when you're meditating you've got to like think of a, a very high temperature on the area. And you, they just burn out. They can just burn out. I went instantly out then, which is a sign of some parasite. It's somebody that she wouldn't even realise is giving these off. And sometimes they don't even know. Exactly. Thank you oh. so much. Rhonda. Hey guys. Hi. I don't understand your question. I, I have heard that um, those who have had the, you know, this, right? This thing. Are you talking about the shedding? Uh, I guess. Is that what it's called? I guess. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So does that affect the others? Does that affect us? Okay. Okay. My, so my links to, to Source and Gaia they should be perfect. Not nobody's going to be affected by that. That's another fear. Okay. Yeah. And quite honestly, I was reluctant to even ask because I I still really do feel that nothing can get to me anyway. 
right? I'm powerful and protected, so I don't think I have to worry about that. However, I'm going to contradict myself now <laughs> in that um, I was wondering, it's been a, it's been a, quite a while, and I was wondering if you all could connect with me and just do a body scan and just see, make sure everything is in its right place. Okay. Rhonda, can I say something about the, uh, we don't yeah. know. We don't know because it's been made by low vibrational people. Mm -hmm. So we don't know exactly where it's going. It's, it's as well as two yeah, I, sorts. I, 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 it's like separating. It's like the ones that are having it and ones that are having it. And that's like two different people that are coming out of this, two human humans. Yeah. Okay. It, you want some e-ring scanning and everything? Yeah, yeah, that would be lovely if you could. I would so appreciate it. Yeah. Okay. And my back and my knees. Maybe the beginning of a, well, I don't know whether it's today or next week, but um, you, you, your bladder is being healed. Wow. I was talking about the bottom of your feet. I, I get a grounding problem. I think it's a blockage because not grounding well. And your crown chakra. You know, the bottom of your spine, above your root chakra. You may feel a heat or vibration there. Yes, I have been for um, actually a little while. Rhonda? Yes. You've been doing a lot of spiritual this year. There's oh, my. Hmm? Yes, yes. There's a lot more coming, and uh, you could do light language soon. Awesome! So, yeah. Exciting. Very good. Very good. Um, the uh, So what was going on? with Was my crown chakra blocked? Your root chakra is blocked, but then your crown, it's like a, a traffic jam. It's, it's not balanced. It's not working. You've just got to ground a bit more. I think you're learning so much up here. You're not thinking, hold on, I've got to ground some of the stuff as well. Ah, okay. So more, okay. more grounding during the... After the after you get channeled or what you're doing spiritual, do a bit of grounding at the end so it, any energies just disperse. Okay, ground at the end. You know what? I, I I am lacking. I usually do it in the beginning, but I I don't do that at the end. So um, okay, I will I will take that to heart. I'm sure that will help me. The grounding at the end is the most important because you're still at an eye. You gotta ground yourself to the earth. That's, that's, why, that's why you're having uh, feet problems and stuff. Oh, okay. Ground, grounding is always at the end. Oh, well, see, <laughs> every I'm still learning new things all the time. So, very good. Um, and then uh, the other the other question I had was in focusing and getting the answer. So when I ask the question to source because I, I go from unconditional love, I go right to source and get confirmation that it's, and so from there, um, all my questions and answers come from that. Now, I get, I'll get, if I ask the same question, I will get yes, no, or I, I might just get an answer left. Strong, it's not just an answer, um, so how, do I focus more on, I'm not sure what I need to do. Change your supplier. Don't go to, all the way to source. Go to the Andromedas uh, or the Paradians. Go to the, some of the higher vibrational beings and ask for them. Okay, so so source is not high enough? <laughs> source, is, is, source can be too high. You, you, you want information and really the best People to ask the information of the eye vibe beings that are sending us uh, eye free uh, eye vibration. Oh, okay. Why aren't huh. you using your guides? Why aren't you using your guides and your angels? I so I was actually I was using them for the longest time, but I was still getting that yes no, um, whatever it is. I you know, and so it wasn't definitive. And so I thought, well, screw you guys. I'm going to go somewhere where I have, where it's just the, you know, it is the highest answer, the highest source. Why not? And then I, oh, I've already, yeah, 
I've had conversations with, and they haven't been pretty, mind you. So, um, but uh, anyway, okay. But, uh, how, how I do it, I channel like the aspect that was on Atlantis Hermes. I get information about crystals, healing, uh, got crystal, anything to connect it to that. Then I want healing, I ask Raphael for healing. If I want uh, an eye vibration, I go to the Andromeda system. So I connect to the ones I want, basically. If I want magic, I'll connect to Merlin. Okay. Yeah, just okay. connecting to one is a bit like putting the BBC on all the time <laughs> and watching that. <laughs> variety, variety is always worth it. <laughs> okay, yeah. all right, good to know. And um, I will know that they are who they say they are if you connect to if you connect to Andromeda, the vibration itself tells you. The energy uh, tells you. It's very prickly, very vibrant. There's nothing on the there's nothing on earth like that. You'll know. Okay, very good. Yeah. But low low vibration beings can't have that high vibration. It's prickly, it's it's as well you wanna you got bags of energy. It's it's an unbelievable energy to connect to. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I will I would feel that. Okay, well, thank you guys. So appreciate you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Okay. Violet Grace. Oh, she's just saying hi, and she was grateful for all of us. Oh, she wants a scan and healing. Okay, Violet. I just wanted to add one thing, but because I was driving, I didn't type it. Um, so I had asked all of my spiritual guides, spiritual team, and because I've been against getting it for a long time. Um, however, my grandparents are in their 90s, and I'd like to see them one more time. Um, and my parents have pretty much put their foot down, as well as everybody else, that I cannot go see them. So I am dealing with that. Um, source in the spiritual realm was that I will persevere through it and potentially be somebody that could help somebody else get through a similar situation. Like, I don't know if my... I'll do some healing, Violet. If you start feeling a bit uh, tired or a bit unwell, try and park up somewhere. Because <laughs> I'll send high vibration in to dissolve any, any low vibration. But it might affect okay. you, so obviously look for somewhere to park if it does that. Yeah. Okay, thank you, guys. I appreciate that. And uh, Deb, you're scanning, aren't you? Okay, thank you. Right. The side of the side effects for me um, have been quite rough, especially with my headaches. Um, I have not had this in a long time, so it could be a combination of both. Not getting anything? Did you feel anything then? I did. Um, I felt a lot in my heart, like it was a warm vibration. It was quite intense. Um, Thankfully, I just gotten out of construction and off the turnpike. Did you? Could you scan her then? That will kind of scan her. Well, Rick scanned her, but I wasn't able to receive anything. Okay, I understand now. Yeah. I never got the straight no ever. It was proceed, you will overcome. I mean, that was the trending message I continued to receive. Well, they're never going to, you know, this is a free will. They're never, ever going to tell you what to do and what not to do. So you have to, these are choices right. you have to make. Your, huh. your, your team is never going to tell you to do something or not to do something. Well, it's it's always a free will. Absolutely. But they, they did say you'd overcome it if you had it. So they're giving you a bit of advice if you had it. But yeah, they can't tell you, yeah, you know, it's, it's free will. Correct. And I know that um, it's been challenging, you know, to work through the different pieces when it's something that you personally didn't feel was best for you, if that makes sense. Yeah, and, and it's a very emotional thing, because I have a friend in in, in, the, in Canada that had to make the same choice. Yeah, but thank you guys for everything, yeah. always. I felt believed she was bitten by a I also feel something caught in my left shoulder blade. I love you all so much. I love you too. Um, so I did shield me and my son very well, like as best as I could, but I automatically felt my nose burning, my head hurting within 10 minutes of being around him. So I was literally like performing Reiki on myself in public to like kill him as they were getting me type stuff. And it, since then, like I had like diarrhea immediately, like within 20 minutes, I had to go to the bathroom and just continued since. And then I took something off my leg. I think it was a tick. I'm not even sure, but 
look like a tick. And yeah, this is the second time in a month now something's got caught in my left shoulder blade. I had with David last time and I had like was able to pull it off myself. But it just feels like I'm getting hit with like the triple whammy and I'm still not connected either. I had black magic being used on me and I was able to, you know, find the source and remove them from my life. But since then, I'm not connected. Like I can feel my galactic team working on me, but I haven't got messages in three months now. Like I don't hear them. I can feel them working on me and... I could feel my intuition and I could feel myself healing, but I'm not getting, I don't know why I'm so disconnected and I can't receive my messages where before the black magic, I was literally like able to have full blown conversations all day with them, my heart, because I'm trying everything, I'm having everything and it's just not working. Well, well do you want me, I'll give you some healing and what I'll try and do, I'll try and create a portal above your head and the healing sea of the under, of the goddesses of the white side of the underworld. I'll try and get you blessed. Is that okay? Yeah. So it's a little different than healing. Take about a few minutes while uh, Devon's scanning you. Inside your torso is a green, emerald green fog of healing. The torso. It's the beginning of the healing. So inside your heart now, you can feel this warmth that's going to go through every your whole body. It's going to be the Creator's energy. So inside your heart, He's going to pour this His diamond crystalline energy. And his white diamond crystalline energy turns into this molten gold that's going to start pumping. And as your heart pumps through your whole body into your bloodstream, this golden energy that's going to heal every part of your body. So it's going to be organ in your body. And it's going to start, it's going to start feeling this form through your whole body. It's going to heal every organ and go through every, every blood, every vein in your body. And it's going to start in just a few seconds, starting now. So every time your heart beats, you're going to feel this warmth. You can see it going through now, spreading through your chest, down through your arms, through your neck, down to your stomach area. This warmth, golden energy. Up your neck into your face, your head, down your arms, on this warm energy, going up your spine, down your hips, into your hips, down your legs, your head. Your whole body glows this molten golden color, this warmth. Every vein, every organ, your whole body's pulsing this beautiful energy, all the way to the tips of your toes, the top of your head, down about your crown. Outside of your body, your auric field, lines your chakras complete. You will not get Lyme disease. The only illness that you will experience are ones that are, are ones that you contracted before you came here. It's guys, any illness in your body right now will be healed with this. I have to open my angel wing and then it like stopped for like a week and then last night again something and now, now it's like it's like so excruciating it's like almost like it feels like a dark hit it's the connect because you've lost connection that is like a fight between getting connection to the spirit world it is the back of your neck uh, i felt a lot of pain in my back actually uh so you must have pain in the back uh but yeah yeah, yeah. yeah you uh you've been cleansed of anything to do with that alleged vaccine probably vibration i'll say yeah and also the black magic stuff was was a thing that was in the, the shoulder blade it's blocking it, it's actually deliberately trying to block oh yeah i know clearing you. it's blocking the clear but it's cleared now okay. i'm sure it's cleared I, i'm sure you better connect shortly <laughs> so that, that was the what what happened it was a portal above the head it created a uh, like a dimensional bringing of white light that's basically giving you a blessing from the, the goddesses. So uh, that's cleanse that out, and that's why you haven't got the pain now. Now, my, my question is like, every, like, if I, every time I go around him, is this going to happen? I, I, I've, I just, been told, I've been told you can create, create your own shield. Yeah, I've been, I've been, 
I then, but apparently it didn't work. So. <laughs> it, it, it will work now because nope. you're not you're not blocked. What's the best one to use? Because I use like ten of them. Depends on the situation, but I do like the, I've done the armor of God. I do the mirror one. I do like a golden love bubble. I've done the plasma one. Yeah, angelic mirror, angelic mirror. Thank you. You had a very bad back because I I, I I had a bad bad back. <laughs> so, yeah, it's got, it'll go now. Yeah, this guy, the guy that did the black magic was from like uh, 800 BC and he had killed me in 1709. I was a little boy and he'd raped me and killed me by strangulation. So I went back and changed that timeline and his higher self agreed to take back everything he did to me and poof, he was gone. But I believe it was more than one that was connected to him. There was like a good four or five people that were doing it all at the same time. And they were stealing my sexual energy. So And that's gone now. Not fun. Are you complete? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Reinhard. Yeah, hello, uh and Rick and Phil. Um yeah, well normally I, I felt uh, really good, but uh, since about a week or more than that, um on my torso I get those um itchy feelings and um, it's not because I don't wash you know <laughs> but it's uh, <laughs> but it's something um, I su I suspect uh, the energy which which comes in is triggering something out of my body maybe getting out or I, I have no explanation for it so if I could get a scan uh, I don't uh, you know possible um, that's a mailing. Healing yes. as well. Healing, of course, because <laughs> this is irritating. Is it like a defense system? Then? It's like your body's defending yourself from the energies outside. I'm almost thinking they're spraying something in the air. Um, I, I must say I have been sitting out um, on the terrace, um, you know, taking sun. And when the sky is um, cloudy, I also sit on the terrace for some time and then I go in again um, but it's about as I said it's a, more as one week ago and so on, I don't know. I'll do a link to the part that's so prickly yeah I'll try and uh, do it so you don't feel it again if that's okay yes thank you okay you may feel a warmth yes right I, I feel thank you I'm going through your bloodstream as well because it's uh, like an allergic reaction. So drink a lot of water. Um, let me know how it, it should clear up. Let me know. Let yeah. us know. Yeah. Yeah. What what I've done is I've put a bit of immune energy into your where this where the itching is to soothe it down, and I've upgraded your aura field uh, to actually try and defend yourself against it. So try and block. The actual uh, what's entry. So your aura field's been upgraded, and you, the other the, the itchy part has been soothed. So hopefully yeah. that it's, should be okay. Only on the uh, on the torso body. On the only on the torso body. Nothing on on the uh, legs or arms. Uh, so that's really strange. So it was only where it was exposed. It's only no, where it's no. exposed to air, or is it, um, no, no. I I'm I'm fully clothed and. I, I don't have it in my face. I don't have it on, you know, on the arms. Oh, okay. Not on the legs, torso. Oh, and, wow. um, um, yeah. Uh, of course, it's, Weird. it's no Weird. spring. It's no spring in Germany, and it's getting warmer. And you go out in the garden, you know. Right. Right. Hmm. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. That's beautiful. Thank you. Blessing. Denise, you just want to scan to see if you're all clear? Yes. <laughs> I want to see if I'm doing a good job of clearing myself for now. <laughs> and you and you won't healing, obviously. Yeah, whatever's needed, you know. <laughs> Make sure she doesn't have any attachments to you. You're well balanced, you are. Any any clues about the electricity through the hands thing? <laughs> Experienced this phenomenal like electricity coming out of my hands and it was very overwhelming. 
I just was wondering if anyone had the insight about that. Wonder Woman. <laughs> Wonder Woman. <laughs> the big race went out. <laughs> she's a she, she's an expert. <laughs> is it like real electricity? Is it static or what? Feels energetic in nature. It's like it almost like every every finger separate and it just like bolts out and I was like, okay, what do I do with this? <laughs> so I just put it on my heart, you know, it was like <laughs> So it sounds like you need to do some healing on people, but don't electric shock them. No <laughs> <laughs> mm. Well this is the first time this happened, so I was kind of like, whoa, wait, wait, what do I want to do with this? <laughs> sounds like a build up of energy. It's yeah, build up it's a static energy. It's probably uh if you have rubber soles, sometimes you don't have the static. If you do, it's like you grind. You, you're becoming like a conductor of all the static around you. I, I work with I, I work with plastic, and I I can actually touch someone and get an electric, give them an electric shock if I want to. It was weird because I was like actually in water when it happened, and so um, I was like I didn't have any shoes on or anything. And I was in water, so I was like. It was very confusing for me. <laughs> you know, when something opens up and, and happens, you're like, what is this? Mm -hmm. well, it's, like, it's like when I when I do healing, hands on healing, I get a build up of negative energy in my hand and I've got to click it out. And you were real, you know, like you're pulling your muscle, but it's a static energy coming. It's a negative energy, which is very similar. So I'm not, I'm not sure if you're picking up energy, but you need to release maybe you need to ground it you are well balanced so uh, that's fine well, really good but to hear <laughs> I, I would try and heal things to see how it goes see okay. if this any see, see if this energy needs to be used if yeah it, it sort of happened when i was like i was i was like transmute i was trying to transmute the, the feeling of um like a collective feeling in the heart of uh, uh like loss like there's a lot of people that have a lot of feeling of loss and it's just was overwhelming i was just trying to transmute that feeling and it just like happened and i was like whoa what, what's going on so, so what you're you're picking up you're picking up all the negative energy from and put it in into your body and then you can release it through electric because you're you're picking up that much so wow. uh you need to ground yourself when you do that after <laughs> yeah <laughs> Geez, I thought being in water was going to help, but yeah, it's not. Just do it. Just do it and connect yourself to the power. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> then you, you, yeah. Let me get then, some batteries. <laughs> then you get free electric. <laughs> yeah, it, it, I, I would say it's picking up all the negativity. It's turn, you, you turn, turn it into electricity. <laughs> Good to know. Good to know. <laughs> oh, thanks, you guys. That really helped. <laughs> you, you can do that because you're so balanced. That's what's good. You, you're absolutely balanced, so you, you've got that ability to do that. You can pick everyone's negativity, but when you do pick it up, you've got to t send it somewhere. Very well, really, really well. I guess I have to work on that a little bit more, huh? Developing mm -hmm. that aspect. Okay, that's a good clip. <laughs> so I got shortness of uh, breath and lungs. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah uh, I've had a lung disease for about, I don't know, a little over 20 years. I've been doing self-healing and managing it and uh, growing new lung tissue myself. Well, apparently I'm not doing it fast enough, and uh, which kind of ticks me off. Well, now I'm at the point where my uh, guys have told me that it's time to ask for some help. And I, uh, I can't walk down the hall without getting out of breath. And uh, so, my brothers and sisters, uh, I'm asking for help, Phil. <laughs> okay, we'll help you. Yeah, I, I, and I hate asking for help. Ugh, it is time. Oh, I want fine. to. We're <clears throat> all in this together, Dino. So I'm sorry, what, Deb? We're all in this together. Yes, I know. This is my ego. I'm working on letting that go. Okay, just relax. I'll, I'll give you some healing. So you want your yeah, throat okay. clear? You want everything clearing, basically. You want an upgrade in healing. Oh, that would be great. Sure, sure, thank you. Yeah, I would I would try and change your energy field into as per Andromeda's energy when you're healing yourself. Okay, thank yeah. you. And your heart timing is off too. The beating of your heart is off, the timing, so that's getting repaired too. 
which also affects your lungs. So your ticker is getting corrected. <laughs> That'll help your breathing too. Oh, thank you. So you may feel some warmth, a little vibration. Everybody's different. How are you feeling? <clears throat> so much lighter. Oh, it feels wonderful. I should have asked a long time ago. <laughs> I wanted to do it myself. Thank you so much. Dino, two a yes, couple of things. Yeah, one is remember that your brain can heal you everywhere. Sometimes you just need to tell it. So you tell your brain that look, I've got a problem here. You, 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 this is a computer. You are you. You got to take over and tell it fix your fix your problem, your problems. So instead of self healing, tell your brain to start doing its job. Sometimes it's a bit doesn't do it. So you need to be more specific. Yeah, t t just tell your brain, look, I've got a problem here. You're not, you're not fixing it. So you, when you do a bit of meditation, connect to your brain and just say, I want a bit of help here. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I took over my brain when I was 14. I was supposed to be, I was supposed to have brain damage. <clears throat> uh, up to nine, I, I was passed at nine. I took over my brain. And I separ I took out the bad bit and mm. kept kept alive the good bits. Yeah. <laughs> so you can take over your brain and get it to work on you. The other thing is I've connected you to the Andromeda, the beings on one of the planets in Andromeda. So when you meditate next, it might be a bit different and uh, use their uh, energy instead of uh, Earth's energy. Well, that's okay. interesting. I have an Andromeda from me from the future that hangs out with me. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's why he's been hanging out with me to get me to figure that out. So okay. I will connect differently now. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you, Phil. Okay, thanks. All right, thanks, guys. You're welcome. Debbie Nicholson. It's, we're physically moving. No, it's either vibrating. It started, you know, like over a year ago, it was jerks, but now it's just vibrates. That's not all the time. So it's gotten much better, but it's still not gone. Well, vibrating is a good thing. Didn't you know that? No, we talked about this before. It wasn't a good thing. It isn't. It isn't a good thing. And Phil has tried helping me, and then I had you guys heal me too. But it's still not gone. gone. So you're saying it's a negative? Entity? Yeah. Yeah. You're sure it's a negative entity? It's not a. Yeah. Some sometimes it's it can be a spirit trying to contact you. Just know how. I mean, I'm just, if they're taking the bed, moving is it, it. Is it shaking? Is it shaking? Yeah. Or is it just vibrating? It's shaking. Yeah. Do you get? Uh, do you have fear when that? Happens? It's annoying. So it annoys you. The more annoyed you are, the more vibration does it. No shaking it. No, but it started like with jerks, like. So it's been like, I don't know, a year, year and a half, something like that. It would jerk. So like every time I was trying to go to sleep, it would jerk me awake. Then it would do it with my chair too. So like 24 seven, it was jerking and jarring. And then it got better because I've tried all kinds of things. And then now it's not the jerking and it's not 24 seven, but it's still, um, there. Sometimes it's a, a spirit that's grounded itself and it wants your energy and sometimes if it jerks you, it might just get a little bit more energy off you than normal. Do you get Probably. that down? Uh, yeah, it, uh, it, it annoys, annoying energy is probably what it's thriving on. It's a bit like fear, but annoying is better than normal. So it might jerk your bed, wake you up and it might be just, do you get very tired a lot at your house? Um, yeah, I guess so. But I mean, I have a chronic illness, so that's kind mm. of always like that. But when it first came, it was like, um, dark energy came through the wall and I could feel it. And then it started doing those things. Well, I'll do this. I'll, I'll give you some healing, but I'll, I'll also, uh, heal the at home. And I'll remember try. you told me you got yeah. rid of that one, um, spirit you thought. Mm. But what I'll do is I'll also check for any portals. Okay. And close them if you have. It what, could be a portal. The mirror behind her bed, is that? No, this is the, the mirror, dining room. 
This is the dining room. Mm -hmm. Okay, does that mirror face another mirror? No. Do you have two mirrors facing each other? No. In the, anywhere in the house? No. Bathroom? No. Well, I do, but one's short and one's tall, so they're not reflecting each other. They don't reflect each other at all? No. Well, I'll, I'll do really, but I'll check. I'll, I'll see if there's any portals. It might be some ancient underneath the ground that, you know, like, uh, what's it, but what's your own build on? How old is it? It was an old dairy farm. It's an apartment complex. Yeah, try and do a full cleanse, closing portals and everything. So I'll be, I'll be out for a few minutes. Right, so let me know if it carries on. It's uh, part of the history of the ground. Yeah, it's something really bad happened about 250 years ago. Something Sorry, that's, that's Phil's wheelhouse, not mine. What? I said, that's your wheelhouse. That's not my wheelhouse. My, <laughs> nope. That's not, not my experience getting rid of a... Uh, yeah, yeah. Bump, bump in the night. <laughs> yeah, what, what's happened is someone's been killed. The, it's been hidden, and the person that's done it is scared to go on. So the best way of doing it is just sending it love, and I've just sent it love. And uh, I asked, I don't often ask him, I'm not even saying that I've asked. <laughs> I asked for help, and uh, he's come down, and I think it's cleared. So if you get bumps in the house, uh, Nice. Message me anyway. Okay. okay. Thank you. I, I, I actually saw the event, so uh, someone was running away and the woman shot him in the back. It wasn't nice. But normally vibration, when you're laying in bed, when the bed vibrates, that's normally telling you that there's a higher being with you, like an archangel, or you're getting downloads, either one of those. And you, you're vibrating, not the bed. It's you vibrating. Yeah, that's not that's not this. <laughs> so, I yes, I understand that now. Was there anything else that you needed, Deb? Uh, just to see if there's anything else with me, if I have any attachments or anything on me. That I didn't get anything on you. You look all clear. Hey. You look all clear. That's wonderful. Yeah. You're welcome. Shall I brag and say that's my healing recently? Shall I yes. leave that one? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hi, Diane. It's good to have you here. Okay, Joan, we're ready for you. Hi, David Rick. I feel Hi, right. darling. Good to see you. Good to see you. Can I have a, a link? You said you want some healing. I think you could give me the healing, actually, looking at that. But, uh, I know. I feel. <laughs> but I'll give you some healing anyway. You just want more, <laughs> don't you? That's what it is. <laughs> Maybe I have some attachments. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting you to. Uh, I'll give you some healing. Why, why my heart is so kind of blocky? Mm -hmm. It's kind of neutral. Why is that? My, my heart is kind of, uh, it's kind of shielding or something. Father says protection. Protection. Thank you. Up here, up here, you're, you're protecting yourself. So it's up here, your brain, you're, you're protecting yourself. So um, from what? <laughs> what are you protecting yourself from? I don't know. <laughs> that's, it. that's what you need to figure out. Uh, you know that already. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what he said. You're the one shielding it. <laughs> okay. Hey, you just got a download, so that might help you. I don't know what it is. It's not my download, it's yours. Okay. So, okay. you're protecting yourself from something, but he, he said you, you're, you're holding back. A Phil said you just got to download, so that will help you. Thank you. Thank you, Phil. Thank you, Devin Reed. Paul, my friend Paul McCarthy. Okay, I'm unmuted. Hi there, Phil. Hi there, Hi. Derek. Everyone. Um, so I'd like um, the full Monty, Phil. The full Monty? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not taking my clothes off, sorry. <laughs> uh, okay, then. I thought you'd appreciate that humor. Um, That's great. That's great. Um, some healing. Um, I have some gastro problems, um, acid reflux, and I'd like to shift it if I can. Okay. Uh, can you see me? Father says you need to release it. Sorry? Father says you need to release it. You have to believe that it's gone. So, we're, okay. The healing's going to happen for you, but you're going to have to release it. You've got to realize that it's healed. 
you've been holding on to it too long. Well, it's been you a long time. Yes, yeah. so you have to release it this time. Okay. okay. You have to let it go. And, you know, we can tell you all that all we want that it's gone, but you got to release it yourself this time. All right. I got it. As of today, it's gone. Let it's it okay. go. And it's not coming back. Yes. So thank it for its experience and watch it go bye bye. So no. picture it all. Picture it. Thank it. Say thank you. I've enjoyed it. You thank you for the experience and watch it go out the window. Picture it gone. No more. So your esophagus is all healthy again. Your stomach is all healthy again. There's no more red and irritation. No more heartburn. No more stomach upsets. You can eat what you want. No more pills, no more tablets. You don't have it anymore. Okay. Fantastic. Like you're twenty years old. Your stomach is like, like it's what you're twenty years old again. Well I'm twenty years old in my head. That's right. <laughs> it's all high. I don't see it. I don't see it in your I don't see that you have it any longer. It doesn't exist. And I can see inside your body. And was it to do with the esophagus uh, valve? Yeah, you know, at the, at the end of your at the end of your esophagus, the acid reflex it reflex shows there and in your stomach. I love that. It's all to do with it. Mm. Yes, it's all clear. Thank you very much. Thank you, Phil. Did you see anything else, Phil? Was there anything else? Uh, you, you, you need to be positive thinking as well. Be more positive right. thinking about. Don't dwell on stuff. Yeah. Okay. Well, I've been having a difficult time recently. Um, my wife is uh, ill in hospitals, and uh, it's been quite uh, difficult. Yeah. She is. Yeah, D Jackie. You know, who we had a session with. She's in hospital at the moment, um, and she's been there for two weeks, um, and still trying to diagnose properly because it seems like it's now really a purely mental problem as much as anything. It's purely a, a psychiatric problem. Yeah, so, she didn't seem ill when, when we... Well, uh, she had, had liver cirrhosis, which was causing problems, but she had an underlying depression, um, which she found very difficult to handle. Being the personality she is, was quite stubborn about help and refusing it. So now she's in hospital and they've been running all kinds of tests and things and brain scans and MRI um, and it's indeterminate but it seems to be at that psychic sort of level really. Um, yeah. Oh, Paul, so I'll, if I'll, you, if, can you send a picture of her? Uh, message me uh, with a picture of her and I'll okay. see what I can do overnight. Well, well, what, yeah, what's happening is when you have something bad that's happening in your life it's like a negative energy and mm. if you've got if you've got any ailments it feeds that negative energy and makes it worse or if you've got anything that you think is wrong with you it will manifest more from the negative mm. energy uh from the worry the worry will uh, turn into uh, a problem yeah so, since she's been in hospital you've probably been not as well as you know mm. no i'm feeling unbalanced yeah feeling unbalanced and obviously Sleeping is very, very peculiar, and uh, yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not a balanced feeling at all. Yeah. But trying to maintain that balance is, is you know, it's difficult. So I meditate uh, quite a lot actually. Now I find myself sitting up in bed in the middle of the night meditating, um, and that's helping me a lot. Of course, so that's my like resource. Um, but nevertheless, um, the concern for someone you love. Yeah. Yeah. Particularly as we. There's no, um, it's indeterminate what the outcome would be, you know? Yeah. So I appreciate that offer, Phil, and I will certainly um, find a picture. And, I didn't um, let you visit her. Pardon? Only, I I, let I've, only, visit. I've only just been able to visit once. Um, so within the last fortnight, I haven't been able to visit, but they've just started to allow visitation. And I, and I did visit her, and um, it's as if when I was there, it was always like um, she felt so much better already. Yeah. Yeah. Because she's obviously uh, she's experiencing um, um, psychotic episodes during the night, and um, it's very disturbing for her, of course. And I get maybe texts at four in the morning or three in the morning, um, which don't make sense. Um, 
So it's a difficult situation for her and also for obviously everyone that is connected to her. So um, we feel um, emotionally uh, um, sort of wrecked, really. So, you know, just kind of, yeah. So trying, we're trying to hold it all together, as it were, you know. So any anything I can do, um, I feel I need to make myself stronger as well. That's the thing. I think um, um, because of the position I occupy, um, I need to be strong for my the entire family, really. Yeah. Just like a cup, yeah. yeah. So I feel I'm managing that okay. Um, but I'd very much want to her to get better. Yeah. I know. I know. Yeah. Just just email me the picture and I'll I'll send it on to to Bill. Right. Okay. I'll yeah. do that. Thank. You. First of all, alcohol um, dependency for several years, um, which then comes to light as a, suddenly you find you're ill. But of course, it was creeping up all the time. And then the, um, the psychological disturbance um, seems to be persistent. It's just that if I'm if I'm going to try and heal it overnight, I've got to be careful because I don't know. Dad doesn't know. We don't know. Uh, right. You know, it, because it's an unknown. Every even the, even the specialists say it's unknown. So spiritually, because, I've got I've got to try and uh, because it, um, it's a it's a created thing which is imperfect. Mm. You know? Yeah. 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 Vibrationally, it's not correct. Mm. Is that what it, you're saying? Yeah, it's it's a bit like when I when I heal cancer patients, I'm more ill than the radiation of the what they've had, the actual right. cancer. The cancer I can I, I can manipulate them, but the the actual sometimes when they've had therapy, radiotherapy, it actually affects me uh, and makes me ill. Right. <laughs> so I've, right. I've always got to be careful. That's my opinion. I wouldn't do it. Um, <laughs> I, I wouldn't have it. It manipulates your DNA. But you're okay but you're obviously as a healer then you have more insight into that if you're not a healer and you're just an ordinary folk in the street what are you going to do you would need to have it anyway hmm. so you would already but you would not if you were exposed to that virus what are you saying that you would be able to eliminate that virus anyway hmm. yeah yeah my, my 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 own opinion this is my the virus is just a little bit more than the flu but people are dying people are dying from it aren't they but what what are you saying those people numbers that are, the people that uh, are dying yeah. from it have other issues they've right. got other underlying issues 90 it's 99.3 percent uh you know that you can survive from this it's 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 a bad flu. It's not something right. that's... Of course, yeah. in, in the UK, if you look at the figures of the death of 2020 yeah. and 2014, old death, 2014 was That doesn't add up. Does right. It? It doesn't well, add up. you have to... Obviously, I, you put it into context with the death rate anyway, uh, mm. other things. Um, so that those figures are not put side by side. Um, mm. So what I'm getting from what you're saying then is that um, that it's, some, it's creating some kind of illusion. And you answer that, Dev. I know <laughs> what my answer is. <laughs> well, um, it, 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 they, it's they, got, it, cure, they did not cure cancer hmm. and heart disease, but and yet they, you know, they, the numbers for those have gone down suddenly. Yeah. How did that happen? Um, it, 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 I, I'm not getting political here, but if you look at the Bill Gates Foundation and you look at all the funding, he funds the CDW, he funds the U, he funds yes. all the media, he, fund, he funds Oxford University, he funds uh, Foucher, he funds uh, the British Health. Uh, I understand all that, yeah. They fund it all and to me it looks like uh, he's got his pies in everywhere. So I, yeah. I don't believe in the media. Well I understand that and also is also the biggest landowner in America. Mm. Uh, I also heard that he um, he actually um, died in 2004 and had a soul switch. And he's not the soul in him now is a different entity. Who knows? Yes. And so um, the hospital also said that there was no cases of the flu, which makes no sense. All of a sudden, there's no cases of the flu. Can I just say? Yeah, is it I'm going to do that. <laughs> It's a political compliance system that the deaths have been completely um, 
fictionalized it says on the british government website that um it's not even been a highly contagious disease um in this country since march the 20th last year and um i just and there's loads more to it that i i i i mean i was invited to this meeting and i didn't know if i was to speak or not i don't really know about this group but um i know a lot of things on this issue that are uh, um in the truth of community i mean there's a lot even in the tr- truth of community that's a little bit overstated yeah. is it all right for me to speak up or yeah, yeah that's right. well that's right. i suppose we're we're trying to get at the truth and get away from the get away from paranoia aren't we um um well, the truth is it, take the pensions from the old the truth is it's a silent genocide the truth is it's a compliance system look at the people that make the money the masks look at the people the corruption look at the um look at the look at the high street our high street those corporations all banded together every shop is now the same all the staff's gone all the robots have come in for us serving ourselves they are they have just a conglomerate what i don't know how you say that word a conglomeration uh, they've they've all there's just a few isn't there that own everything and if yes. you look around now that who is who's pulling the strings it's um agenda it 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 it's one side of it's agenda 2021 the other side of it is less nefarious i mean i've worked with the galactics and the archangels and i've learned to heal through um the violet flame and other modalities and now archangel metatron has come in and he's introduced me to the black obsidian flame that he likes to um he likes to band around and we've been handing it around today um i've had a little bit of an issue recently because i was very extroverted and i've been through some stuff recently and and apparently my healing abilities have been stripped from me and i've become quite introverted i've gone from i allegedly so they tell me right brain to left brain thinking it's horrible it's dis blasia dis dyspraxia but during the last lockdown i was forced away from it all well the devil himself didn't frighten me at all in fact i laughed in his face until i had someone on the street rid their family line of three demonic entities i didn't know truly what i was doing and i trusted the wrong guide which turned out to be archangel samuel um and he took over and i ended up battered I battered myself. I had knives at myself and they st- my guides have said to me the only way they got me to survive it and not take my life was to take a part of me that I needed. And I just wondered if you could heal this for me so that I could move forward in my life as I was before. I mean there's so much more and I feel a bit weird just coming on here and spare <laughs> it, the best way you can get everything back in the underworld everyone thinks it's bad it's like a very dark side and a very light side and you need to go to the light side and get blessed by the goddesses of earth there and i might better take you up so if it's in time today we'll see if we can do that thank you uh, yeah uh, i had a i had a vampire on me an energy vampire on me that wouldn't let go and my guide it's a dragon took me there for a full blessing because I was dying it was taking about if you it, an eel can channel loads and loads of energy out the more energy i channeled the more the vampire had so i was dying i i couldn't channel enough so i had to get blessed and not the, the goddess is called the cord and what you do you lie down in the white sea of the underworld and right. the goddess is of a goblin and they pour it over you while we're doing the uh, ancient song and your wow. tongue tongue so if we don't that, get time to do it today would you do it for me anyway please that would yeah. be phenomenal yeah that's fine and yeah. um, the goddess carly's been around recently will she be involved you think i don't know what the goddess is of the underworld of carly actually so it might be it might Lilla. Be that's Lilla. Oh, she's, my, Lilla? she's my heritage my um our, um my um my ancestral line lilith and samael all oh, right so samael was the entity mm. that i captured on video 
Mm. That's a good one. We'll have to have a talk after this. Yeah, sounds interesting. Awesome. Awesome. So I I've just lost wanted to a um, quick message to Paul was, uh, and Star actually mentioned it. So Paul, the answer is follow the money and you yes. will what you're looking for. Okay. Yeah. That. yeah. Well, so, in principle. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. My, my, guide, my guide, Phil, my guide yeah. just said, um, and I'm giggling here because Raphael um, is allegedly now in the distance. He's just said, you don't have to take any of that on. You do not have to take any of that into you, son. That's what they're saying right now. Oh, you know, yeah. my friend, and this is how I'm doing it. This is how they're putting me to it. You know, my friend, you will not take any more of that into your system. You let it out. Let it out and let it stay out. Do not take any more. That was unusual. I've not done it in, in this side of my brain before. Normally, it's a lot different to that. It's because you're here. That's what it is. I've got I've got such a pull down my back, and I know that my I've had energy attachments and things put into me because that blinking end that that dim, that dark energy um, drained my life force for two years, um, and apparently I only survived because I'm very strong. But um, that's what they've done to me again since meddling with things they said that I shouldn't have done on my own. They've put me back. They've put me back into it so that I can jolly well learn a lesson from people that's different to me. Mm. Is this a regular meeting? Uh, once a month. But ne next next week we're doing uh, one for Australia, New Zealand. But it, it will be in four hours from now. It's next uh, uh, next week. Saturday evening. Phil, I'm going to add you on Facebook if you don't mind. Yeah, it's fine. Yes, once a month we do um, this at, for at this time. Well, at, at, at uh, six p.m. Six p.m. is it in the UK? Yeah. And then we do at midnight in Australia, uh, in the UK, and nine a.m. in Australia, Sydney, Australia. We're starting in the Southern Hemisphere next weekend if you like or you know from that point of view without any judgment that's what it would do it would maintain a low vibration so because if it was fraud because it was if it is of a low vibration then it certainly wouldn't raise your vibration right no but you're what you're saying if you're healing and this is wrong or it's not correct or it's vibrationally low would you not be it, the way to get rid of the low vibration is to send a high frequency energy into it. But at the moment, I'm still testing that. I'm, I'm not 100% on that. We're all still okay. testing it. Mm. Okay. The only the, the only time I've been... I have... Uh, and then there's other people that I wasn't able to do any healing on. Um, no. There was actually... I, it wasn't... One woman, it was because she put a wall up. She had a... Mm. Uh, that was... So, so what you're saying, and the danger really is that um, because it's it's working at a very subtle level to do with um, DNA, mm. um, is where the uh, is where the issue is. Yeah, yeah. because it's restructuring <laughs> DNA instructions. Yeah. but we're we're not an expert. It's supposed to be altering around the, the uh, cell, not inside it, but. I don't think they know, to be honest. <laughs> we just need to like, well, fire our vibrations anyway, don't we? Because at the end of the day, we don't. If we if we're in three D, we get a cold. If we're not in three D, we don't get a cold. Um, and so, just raise raise vibrations anyway. Phil, mm. um, no, no, sorry, Phil. Uh, the other man, that the, the other man that was just talking. Do you, oh, are you into yeah. crystals oh. by any chance, Paul? Oh, sorry, are you in, are you into crystals by any chance? Um. There are some crystals in the house, but I had no idea how to use them. <laughs> Could you yeah. grab it? And I don't want him to be concerned because that would be 3D. Right. I would like just to say, my darling friend, you grab a crystal and we're yeah. going to do a little spot of healing with the Archangel style. That's all. He just They, they just want to try it through me in this mood they've got me in. And Not this going. place they've got me in. <laughs> Archangel Raphael Michael, I'm not hearing any more, possibly. Awesome! They're, they're pulled back. I can't see them, they've blocked my third eye for being naughty. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, I'm excited for you, you go for it. I'm always on the naughty step. 
That's why they make me infiltrate meetings and talk over people. <laughs> I'm back. Okay, this right, is a that's a quarter ah, stroke. Ball. I looked at one of those. I picked up the emerald. Right, sir, on your forehead it goes. Now, pop okay. it on your forehead and okay. channel all the love in your heart, all the love from your heart, through your dragons, through your forehead, and let me see what you feel. Tell me what you feel right now, my friend. What do you feel? Oh, I've got a solar plexus thing going because my hand's moving around my solar plexus. Ah, uh, check. I feel a little vibration in my head. Back of my head's feeling it. What kind of knob do you feel is what I've just heard behind me they're saying. We look like I, Daleks. I don't get a lot, a lot of sensation of this, so forgive me if I don't uh, report anything back. That's okay. They said we've just raised your vibration because we made you laugh. You, yeah. you were very concerned that we needed to make you laugh. Okay. Because everybody else stays focused, please. Now what did you feel? I just blew a dragon kiss straight into your forehead. That's the Empress Carly I'm hearing. Well, Let me pull you a card. They want me to pull you a card. And you carry on. I'll just do this quietly in the background. Sorry. I, I missed what you said there. It said that I'm getting a message they're removing toxins from his bodies through the crystal. Awesome. That was a question. What helps me remember? That all things are still possible for me and the intention the possibilities are limitless because the soul is limitless okay how's your uh, head my head's fine um yeah so paul, paul that crystal now is uh it's, it's alive it's, there's a spirit in there so every time you feel down just you pour it right sounds good yeah, yeah. Can I do I take it off now? <laughs> you can take it off now. No, 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 you've got to have it on for 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to Gabrielle, or Gabrielle. Hello. Gabrielle P. Hello, guys. Hi, Gabrielle. Hello, she everyone. <laughs> healing. Healing today. You can tap okay. in and... Uh, I'll just carry on with you. Right. Okay. Thanks, Phil. Something going on with your fallopian. Send energy and stuff and see. Like they're swollen. It's almost like they're um. That's just. Um, I had a channel like session with uh, Jim last week, and um, they tapped into the water, and they said there was sulfur in it. They did like a power blast. I'm uh, um, trying to find somebody to come out, and we if we get the water tested, then we can send the report in. Maybe they could try to fix that. Do you smell like rotten eggs when the water's in your house when? You turn the water on, does it smell like eggs? Or not not eggs? like eggs exactly, but it doesn't smell good. Everywhere I've lived kind of had crappy water all my life, so. She didn't hear you. I'm oh, sorry, I just, um, floor, I went fluoride free uh, for my third eye to, to open up. I just wondered if, if Gabrielle had done that too, if she could maybe drink fluoride free. I mean, I, with my guides, did, um, we did a ritual where I turned all the water in here from fluoride. Um, to, after I, I, for months, I drank fluoride free completely. I changed my toothpaste. I drank um, honey, lemon, and um, cider vinegar and cinnamon. And then I, um, I did a, a ritual to Ra and uh, the, 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 the sun god. And um, and then my third eye started to open. So I just wondered if there was something like that that Gabrielle could do to protect her from from the icky water. Um, I'll look into that. I usually um, like before I eat or drink anything, I ask my angels to bless and purify it. And um, but I'm open to different stuff. So uh, I'll look into that and see. Apparently, Gabrielle, wear something green tomorrow and have complete uh, faith that your water is now perfection. Archangel Gabriel's just spoken up in the back. Will do. Emerald green, something emerald green he wants you in. And you also have emerald green on the inside too. Okay, yeah. Well, I did a couple of affirmations today. I don't know if you're picking up on that, but um, that was like... I felt drawn to do David's post about 
opening up and restructuring your DNA and accepting in what's for your highest good. But yeah, some heart affirmations. I can start doing that. It's good to see you. I'm feeling lighter. Thank you, everyone. Good. Oh, Victoria's here. Hi, Victoria. Hello, iPhone everyone. has her granddaughter again. Victoria will be right after her iPhone again. iPhone has her granddaughter with her. Yeah, that's me again. This little one right here. She's constantly getting attachments. And oh, I want to know. How is it a baby doesn't get attachments? Well, how is she getting she, attachments? I don't know if she gets them from like what I feel off, but a baby reacts to your energies. You say I'm hearing that's transference. I'm hearing that it's our job as adults to take it from that child and that's transference and we shouldn't allow that to happen these days. So you're jolly well going to have to take it, lady, because the child oh, cannot. I do. The child I do. cannot. That's, I, this, this isn't me. That I'm, the, I'm the messenger here. I'm just the one that they put it through my mouth. And we mean that in the most positive and loving sense. I took on all attachments from my creatures and everything around me, so I know it can be done. Babies don't okay. get attachment, but, they, okay. but they, when they get, yeah, when I, they get their, their moods are, are, are a reflection of what they're getting from you. Their energy comes uh, yeah. from you. Well, they're a message yeah. to us. Well, well, that, that I, I had put at the bottom like a couple questions down. I put that I wanted um, my daughter, which I've been talking to Phil about because she lost her husband last year to a gunshot to the head. So it really like affected the whole house, you know, and since then we, I've been helping her raise her two children on her own. And I know that, you know, she was interested in looking to see if maybe anything was attached to her because I don't feel it's coming from me, but I do feel it's coming from her mom. No, 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 no. I, no. I what, yeah, what's happening? What's happening is she's she's grounding him because uh, of the, she won't let go. Uh, so that's all the negativity that's being created. So I, I, I'll I will eventually sort that out with a separate one between you okay. and. Uh, but but basically, it's because of what's happened, she's holding him. She's stopping him going forward, not going to the spirit world. Yeah, she's on. Okay. Uh, people around her lately and mm. I feel it affecting the whole house so maybe if she's willing to do the healing I'll give him the phone to her if you guys can like scan and just see you know what can be done I see when I when I've assisted spirits go from this world to the light I've seen big gray blue wings and a castle in the background and that, that's, that's the picture that they send to me are we completed? All right. We have Victoria. She has a question for Phil. So in December, there were a lot of energies that came in. There was the uh, the twelve twelve portal, and then then for me, the solar flash came in. The one that was anticipated for a lot of people, but it's a uh, it's basically for the personal journey. So not everyone will see it in the way it is. Do you hear me? Yes, I do. Good. Um. So sometimes I face in and out, and um. So what I saw was uh, my blue heart connecting with the Christ conscious consciousness grid and then the threefold flames was blazing like crazy all over. And, you know, I took your advice uh, a few months back and told me to sync my vibration, you know, um, so I ate a lot of chips, chocolates, meat, and, you know, stuff to just lower my vibration. Like, seriously, I mean, I watched a lot of Chinese drama TV series, um, but... Um, you know, so what happened was, you know, there was things that were going on, um, and I don't really want to bring it up on the um, on this session here, but there was something interesting about the the back. You mentioned back because I know that uh, we are getting upgrades and everything, and you know our bodies are being worked on. So my lower back had been um, having these feelings in these last few months. I can't really say it's uh, painful or anything, but it's discomfort in a way. But the um, there was kind of like a, you know, how your body changes. Um, like it used to be that you're rooted from the root chakra, held into the ground. It seems like it's possible that my system changed and was being rooted from my heart instead. 
And so, you know, the crystal lotus came through and everything like that during that period as well. And um, so I was wondering if you, so what I'm trying to say is my, sac- my chakra system changed. This is what I feel into a, a, I guess, a more divine blueprint or something. Mm-hmm. So um, I was wondering if you have that experience with you in these last few months, if that's um, something going on with you with that. Not me back. Uh, I did. I have uh, connected to higher aspects of me, like crystal source, uh, and I, I just think, and this, these aspects, people don't know this. You can actually be that aspect. I need that. So I have a feeling that you're getting higher, and you're meeting a very high aspect. I actually, I can see you as a star. Is that? Have you ever been told that? Sorry. I can actually see you as, as a star. I past avatar consciousness hmm. if you understand what that means not really but <laughs> say uh, that there's, again. there's different level of consciousness and I pass avatar consciousness meaning yeah you you know I don't have to die to go through the process of rebirth or gaining you know hmm. filling yourself embodying the light like you used to before back in the day you have to pass over I, I went through the resurrection thing and like literally I left and came back. So you've already ascended. Yes, I already ascended. That's basically an easier way to put it. Yeah. Yeah. So I was wondering if um, if you know anything about, you know, if there's anything you can share with me for the, um, I guess, the that part of the experience, having your blue heart connected, more of the higher frequency things that I might uh, I, I think you're connecting to a very high aspect of yourself and you're becoming a bit like that aspect and you've just got to take it and enjoy it I am you enjoying it. it but I keep crashing things it took me 20 minutes just to get on here it, because your energy was affecting the and, and, and my and my um, what do you call it my um, and I brought like destroyed fried the laptop and I didn't want to fry this one this one was like don't, don't fry. <laughs> this one was flipping around. I'm trying, like, you know, I try to keep it balanced, the energy balance in me. But I, like, I, I try to slow down with my energy and everything. Didn't I have, have I ever told you to have an on and off switch with that power? Mm. Have you ever tried an on and off switch? I don't use it much. That's the thing. This is why I don't, um, I don't, you know, I don't want to really I have other things in mind that I'm doing mm. because I have actually a different purpose to be here something different so i i'm not a, a reader a healer or a channeler for like like for for work you understand for a profession but um not a teacher in a sense either but i uh, i've got a, i've got a suggestion that i i have this crystal here okay. and it transmutes dark to light yeah so if i'm in a, a place and it's i'm healing i leave it in there and it'll turn it good why don't you have a crystal uh, use a crystal to damp down your energy. Can uh, you transfer it onto the crystal? Yeah, ask the crystal to take some of the energy. Temporarily. Hmm? Temporarily. Yeah, temporary. So you can actually go on your electrics and uh, without frying it. And uh, obviously, crystals, what you should do is leave it in moonlight overnight, clean it out, then put your hand and program the crystal to be like a damp, an energy damper for yourself when you want it and then connect your conscious with a crystal uh, to work for you. I so have, you can use your computer. I have then, not tried to use the crystals in that sense, but I've been using the crystals in my healing, in my transmissions, what I do when I clean and transmute Gaia. I use hmm. it in the astral. I use crystals. Yeah. Um, try, that, try that then. I think you need an energy dump. I think you're too powerful. <laughs> when we're clumsy, sometimes that means our root chakras aren't aligned. So check that out. And if you check all your chakras, and the best, best, best thing I could introduce to anyone anywhere, is the healing I learned was the emotion code. And I read the emotion code and I did exactly what it told me not to do. And it worked spiffingly. It got me into some scrapes and some trouble, but um, all you need to do is be introduced to your higher self and know that you can ask your higher self any questions. It says in the book that you're only allowed to ask yes or no. 
And so if you stand up and use your body as a pendulum, your higher self will chat to you that way and then learn to release negative, energetic, uh, trapped emotions from the meridian lines. I do mine through here. And then when I do it on someone else, I do it down the back. And these are all things the angels want us all to do together. Because then once the chakras are aligned and once the energetic trapped emotions are gone, then our angelic guides, they continue that for us. They take care of our chakras and we then learn to heal others because we're all healers, really. By that period of time, I, I know that the reason why my lower chakras was like the spine, lower spine area was a little off was because I was watching too much drama on TV and positioned in a bad place. And so, but you know, that can be easily fixed with just you know, a meditation or two here. Victoria, the reason why your chakra system's changing is you've got another aspect connecting to you and it's just getting ready because you've got to change a little bit to get ready so uh, it's a very high vibration and you've got to just change your chakras to allow for it i am kind of with my own soul and the monad it, this this uh, uh this is a source being this connection is, i know but i i, I I, I think I think we're connected. You know, we're all souls together. Yes. I think we're connected. I think our crystal source beings are connected. Yes. Okay. So what I saw was a whole bunch. And I I've seen many of me different aspects, did, but did I, you, I, I, ten, I tend to go for the higher ones. <laughs> yeah. Did you? Because what happened is when that solar flash came through, right? I saw a big flash of like golden of the golden white energy coming into the galaxy in, like towards our to, from the great central sun into our galaxy and inside there it hit uh, a, a number of planets so our entire galaxy at that time it felt like a wave i felt the wave yeah i you know i have it on video and stuff it was crazy it was like i was up for the whole month because of the energies i was anchoring the energy in i was up i think i only had like 48 hours of sleep the entire month the the, the other thing i have done is i've, I've done some shadow work to to the dark because i've been demonic in, my, in one of my lives uh very but like i've got the higher ones i've also got very very low ones and sometimes while we're in this life clearing that is pretty good clearing all the because at the end of the day we were doing a job so it was okay but if we did it if we enjoyed it too much you can collect residue and uh, you just get rid of it get rid of the residue i once went to a lower dimension to save someone and i stayed there a while because i enjoyed it <laughs> yeah the experience <laughs> that's me for you thank you for you thank you definitely advice thank you susan mulheron is next i think i think she's gone I, uh, I was asked her to put me in the queue and then she had to turn off the computer. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Susan's gone. I'm I'm in the car. We're driving somewhere now. Okay. If you wanted to walk on me, I'm here. You go ahead then. I just wanted to scan on the healing. You want some healing? Is there any question? Yeah, I'm still dealing with my skin condition. Is so it improved at all? I'll, I'll give you some healing on yeah. it. What I've, what I've just done, I've upgraded your aura field to try and heal your skin. So I've, I've added some to the, I've added green energy actually to the aura field. So when the aura field's on the skin, it should get absorbed into the, uh, to the healing. Um, I got a message, Susan, that I'll talk to you about um, offline. You're welcome. All right, David, you needed a healing? Uh, yes. Yeah, I've been experiencing fluctuations and high rapid pulse and, uh, and before somebody was saying that there was the bone marrow there wasn't a red blood cells so I mean anything that comes up with any type of healing I'm trying to figure things out and get things balanced and reaching out to different places and going it within and meditation and still having past couple of days I, every time I wake up my pulse is like 90 to 100 and for you know an hour or so you look like you've improved, though. I, you said it, it feels like I've improved a bit? It looks like you've improved, yes, from the energy. 
Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I do a lot of light language and send healing to myself, too. So mm. hopefully that's part of it. I'll give you some more healing. Yeah, I just figured any insight into that or healing, whatever, whatever feels best. There's nothing wrong with your heart. Okay. You know, do you know, I think it's either astral work or dreaming. Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm doing, I just asked a question with Jim Charles that I've been working on the Stargate and the, mm. the Earth grid and a lot of stuff in astral. It's trying to set them. It's coming, when you're coming back, you seem to have an art pulpitation from it. Oh, uh, what did you call it? You have like a pulpitation. When you come back from your astro work, you art, you art like sees everything, if you know what I mean. It's like the memory's coming back and you have like a, a pulpitation on your heart. So I'll try and separate that. I'll try and do a way oh. so you come back. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and I've been working on just, you know, knowing that we're infinite beings and, and that it, you know, eventually should be okay, but I still get a, a little stressed about it and not sure how to separate that. Right. I'll put something into you. Uh, I'll put like a, a code in your brain to, to adjust to it. Okay. If I get that, yeah. That's amazing. Thank you. Okay. I think your body and your, it doesn't get your astro work. And that's why uh, it's in like a semi shock for an hour. <laughs> it's getting over it. It's like, what's going on here? Yeah, yeah, I get like, I feel like really hot sometimes. The, the other thing. Hmm? I think that's your anxiety that uh, you're thinking there's something wrong with you and you caused that yourself. Uh huh. What, the, the palpitation? Is that what you're saying? Well, it, everybody gets palpitations in the energies. It, it, it doesn't mean that you're, there's something wrong with your. I get heart palpitations, and I know there's nothing wrong with my heart. So you go into oh, fear. I, I've told you this before, David. Um, you know, my, we, we all go through these, these, these uh, upgrades, too. When, when the energies are coming into the earth or when you're getting downloads, sometimes you get a heart palpitation. The, the heart palpitations or the fluttering in your heart doesn't mean that there's something wrong with your heart. It oh, I didn't think it was the heart. I just wanted to, I wanted to find out, you know, what was going on with my, my body. Like, what is going on? It's okay. crazy. But, but does it mean that there's something wrong with you, David? You automatically think you're dying. You're not. You're not dying. Uh, I, I, think it's a, David, I, I think it's just the astro coming back. But when I come back, when I'm healing, my body shakes violently and I think I'm having a fit. <laughs> I can't park my soul very well. Because I, I always stay out too long. So when I'm healing and come back, I'm like that. <laughs> and the healers think I'm dying. <laughs> but no, I just can't park my body very well. I don't, I don't think that David's doing that in the middle of the night or coming back in the morning. David can call me in the daytime and, and he'll call me and say, there's something, I can't breathe or there's something going on. Because because he causes it himself by getting sure. upset and he's got something wrong with him. But, yeah, that's you know, happened. Just, Overthinking. Yeah. But, yeah, but I don't, I don't believe that that's happening every time. I'm Because I've had it ex happen to me, then it doesn't, it's not happening in the same way. I'm not doing the, going into to that mode every single time. Because but I- But every time we have scanned you, every time we've scanned you, there's been nothing physically wrong with you. Okay. Have you been rushed to the hospital with something physically wrong with you? Oh, I did. I mean, I did go to the hospital not not too long ago. Do you know, this happened to me. This happened to me. And what you've got to tell yourself is your heart is the strongest heart in all the world. That's what I had to do in the hospital because my heart's the heart strongest heart in the world. Did one of your people die of a heart attack or something? Is there a message in it for you that you're to take that you're to tell yourself that it's stronger? Then you're telling yourself, is it your mind? Is it your heart? I believe with some experiences when I was younger, uh, there was yeah. something that happened when it was uh, it was a serious, serious thing going on. So is, is it a trauma from when you were a child and trying to release itself? Uh, there was definitely a trauma. <laughs> yeah, you didn't I, mean I, was, say that. I nearly died. There were, well, the angel said that there was three times where I should have died. Basically. What exactly so, was that? What what happened that you you should have died? I I didn't get the details on that. I just there was one time where my heart was just it was going super fast, and I, I should have called the ambulance. But I was lying on the floor, and I didn't I didn't call them because I knew that they were going to have to break down the door, and I I didn't. How old, how, how old were you? How, how old was I? 
Yeah. Um, f- between twenty and thirty, I believe. I was I was partying too much. Doing a lot can, of you do, and can you do me a favor? Can you get? Have you got a hat on or something? If you have, take your hat off. Get your hands, rub them together. Um, Archangel Metatron here says, "Imagine black." Now tell your heart that you have the strongest heart in all the world pulsates perfectly and if you just get your hands and put one at the bridge of your nose take it all the way down over your meridian down to the back of your neck do that 10 times and you've got an ancestral uh, negatively acting and trapped emotion to release so if you do it 10 times that's an astral which direction i'm not sure which direction you're talking about so from the start nose it, start it at the bridge of your nose so you want to go from the bridge of your nose all the way over the top of your head and all the way down to the back of your neck one stroke and then another do it 10 times and that's ancestral and then do it another three times and that one's your own personal one you add an ancestral attachment to release so that's 13 times another thing david yes if you had a trauma when you were a child, sometimes you have meditation and go back to that trauma and tell yourself that you are loved, you are fine, you are good. So if there's any past life, any traumas when you were a child, heal your, you might have broke your soul fragment and you just go back to that life and heal yourself by saying that you're, you're loved, you're there for yourself. This is an old version, you're doing okay. And do that in meditation. Okay, that sounds great. Thank you, everyone. It's starting to look. You're welcome. It's strange when you do that. I, I did that. And then all of a sudden, I, I, I started getting information of when I was one. I actually saw visions of when I was one because I, I cleared one trauma and then that carried to another trauma. And all of a sudden, I was, I was clearing everything. Uh, memories were coming into me I never had before. Oh yeah. Did, yeah, childhood memories when I was one year old, which is quite young. And, and, you, and you need to and thank thank it for the thank it for the lesson and release it. You mm-hmm. can't live in in fear of these of these traumas for the rest of your life. Where it, it, yeah, I know it's horrible. Well, the, 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 the find where, where the yeah find where the trauma started. When did it first start? Why did it? Start? What reason is it? It probably you need it to heal yourself from that time. I, well, they, I heard from a couple of different people something happened when I was seven, so maybe that too. So well, go back to when you were seven, and then think about the time that when you were seven, and then thank it for the experience and release it. These yeah. are things that you that have to be released. Okay. But what you do is you go to that seven-year-old as yourself, and you say, "Look, you're going to be fine." Give yourself a note, give yourself some love. Yeah. That's why I, I that's why I did. I was think I was five. I thought I was alone. And and, and, uh, and, any, and any and what can I do to raise my vibration now? What can by healing that seven year old. Uh, in a in a child of yours, a seven year old version of you. He heal go back go, go in your timeline, go back to that time in meditation and heal yourself. And you you will might you might cry doing it as well. Yeah, I mean, that would be good, because then you know it's working. <laughs> mm. Well, what you're doing is you're repairing your soul. You're collecting your fragment so Much love. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Um, so, a lot of times people will say, go back and, like, uh, heal, meditate on that incident or whatever and heal yourself. So, what I wanted to let you know is that you can do is you can rewrite your story. So, I know you guys have heard this before, but so what you do is you go back to the situation and then you recreate it in your mind in an imagination as a different situation. And then as you're creating it as that different situation, um, that's how that, that's how the healing comes because then your, your child self will begin to start to feel, uh, protected, safe, loved, and say these words, say these words out loud. I am. Use the word I am with it. And then that adds power to it. So that's all I had to say. I think we got everybody. Did we get everybody? Okay. You don't need um, healing. You just want yes, <laughs> So uh, the healing request. <laughs> no, actually, I, I, I do. Um, I have discovered that my pineal gland is calcified. And so I've been working on decalcifying it, but it's not done yet. And so that's where I'm looking for healing. And if Should I get anything. Have you been sun gazing? Have you, have you been sun gazing? Yeah. 
yes, yes. Oh, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And plus, I'm an aspect of Ra, so you would think me of all. They're like, okay, you're an aspect of Ra. I know. Let's send you in uh, and make sure that you've got to work on your pineal gland. <laughs> really, one of my first lives was a. Um, I was part of Ra's entourage, and apparently, my ego was so huge that I wanted to take over the world. So I've been sent down here to mirror it from this side. Um, in my last life, because I came from a family of narcissists, and so oh. um, and so I had to heal being a narcissist. Um, yeah. <laughs> you have um, you have a there's like a scab. It almost looks like a scab. I'll do my bit. I'm getting the message that you put it there, Wendy. Figures. He says he says go up there and just take it off. Reach up and remove it. Remove it. Right here, right, right here. Go up and take it off. Now, can you see? See the lights, see the lights, all open, all the lights. Colors, your, your colors. colors are all gonna show. All the colors are gonna show. Cooking on gas. Mm. That is a blessing from God and he is thanking all of you for your work and the combined energy of everyone is sending so much life and and so much glory up to the angelic realm and the galactics right now that they can't thank you enough for how proud they are of you, how blessed you are, and how... We lost her. She said the phone was running out. Can I ask, you know, can I ask before we finish, I don't want to trample on anybody's toes, so we'll wait till the very end. But can I ask everyone in all the world to send my poppy dog healing? Because I hear you, my husband and I healed animals. I healed it. I, can, I can. And, and, and I can I, tell you your. I can tell your puppy your, your tell you what your puppy's past lives are. We can tell you that too. I know she was my teal dog. She was my first ever dog. Um, she had Cushing's disease. The vet said. So I removed the seed within her and put it inside me and released it um, through the violet flame to God's source with love and light. But then I got traumatized by it because I didn't even know what a healer was at that time. And I saw a die in front of my eyes and I had no idea what the flippity flip was going on. When, and so my guides just told me to do it really quickly and I, I did it and released it and then was like, I spent a whole week paranoid. Well, what it is, what it I is, you, you broke the rules, that's why. It's, it, it gets you back. <laughs> she wasn't dead, dead. The I know, no. Do it. But you, but what they say? I said don't think was it was your guys. Rules. I think it was somebody else that told you. To it is breaking the rules. It's a bit like when I was healing my three year old of something that was bad and it took me out for a day. I couldn't get up. I was completely out because it was breaking the rules a little bit. Oh, well, so uh, it was worth yeah, it. I know, it was worth a week. <laughs> Could she have some more, please? Because I'm about yeah. ready to have her put to sleep. Because she's no, so, no. she's so, she's so in need. She's the best little no, creature in all no, the world. Don't put, don't put her to sleep. Let them die naturally. Let me, let me see that face. The last dog I was healing was a uh, place next to me, and she was 15, and she could hardly walk. I gave her healing. The next day, she was like a seven-year-old. She had another two years. The the wow. owner said, "What did you do?" She says she's like a little baby again. <laughs> she was hardly walking the day before. He was going to put her to sleep, but a few days later, in the end, she had another two years. So that's amazing. That's why my guides have put me here today because I've done all this on my own within the year in lockdowns. Mm. I've had no one to talk to and like no one to really help. I've not met such a fabulous group of people that do things like this for each other before. Wait, Poppy. Poppy's name. Poppy. 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 P O P P Y. Poppy. Got this it. Is, this Poppy. is Poppy. She's my emotional dog. Whenever, whenever okay. I'm in a. This little, this little girl's getting a special treatment with. Father's just put green energy in her whole torso. She's getting the, the full treatment. And now going into her heart muscle is his white 
diamond energy and now it's carrying molten gold and it's going to go through her whole bloodstream as, as her heartbeat uh, pumps this molten gold is going through her whole blood system in it and it's going to heal every organ in her body and it's going to go through all her veins every, everywhere from you know in her head her brain everywhere so as her heart is beating i'm seeing it go through her whole body this molten golden energy i'm seeing go too <laughs> So inside her body is her chest. Her torso has got the emerald energy, and that will stay there. And her molten energy, this molten gold, will go through her body. It's gone from the snoot all the way down to her paws, and this will stay with her and just absorb through. And it'll be on the outside of her auric field as well. <laughs> so even good. her chakras, her chakras are all healed and, and aligned. That will stay with her for six days. So she she'll get she'll drink a lot more water and yep. flush through all the toxins and in a few hours you're gonna see a different puppy yeah hours. oh my best friend and then this here this is domino hi domino he's not fussed <laughs> thank you i saw gold when you did that too thank you massively i thought i was just had to be on my own I literally haven't shared myself with anyone for very for months and months and months. We are here. Bill and Rick and I have been doing this for what's it'll be a year next month, I think. Wow. And we're doing it next week as well for Australia, but it's Australia. Be UK time it will be five to twelve at midnight. So is there any so more? I want to thank everybody for is there any is there any more? If we're missing anybody, uh, shout out now. Can we do the Atlantis Halo quickly? Can we all please send healing to and love and light to Rick and his boo boo? See his boo boo? Yeah, that's better. Thank you, Davina, for thinking about Rick. <laughs> I think um, Rick's knees. Send Rick healing to my husband's knees. That's what I want is his knees. His wrist is doing good. So. You know what you need to do, don't you? My friends, you need to do this emotion code because if that's his knees, I released all, I released my entire energetic code and ancestral and most and, and many of it is um, um, arthritis -y stuff. You can remove it just by releasing the energetic emotions. Read that, do it, heal, you'll heal yourself from the inside out and the outside in. You have to read about our story. Um, go to our website, it's healteachlove.org. And oh, what not, to us. But they want us to do everything together because then it's all different depths. Because if he had done that and he'd got to know the emotions, he wouldn't have hurt his knees. Emotion. Yeah, I, my husband, the white light came to my husband and merged with him. So the creator actually merged with my husband, which is why he has this healing gift. And I get the downloads. So I get to see everything. I see what happens inside everybody's body as they're healing wow and i get i and and creator talks to me and lets me know what's going on so i'm well, not seeing he's, if i don't understand something i ask them telepathically i can see attachments i can see if they've got attachments or um i can tell if somebody's lying to us um, wow yeah yeah, yeah. And i'm a human and, and their past lives they and we know what their past lives are he did when the white light merged with him that's the only time he cried and one other yeah. time yeah that Ooh. broke me right down that's the way yeah. we've learned isn't it i mean my dad died i didn't i didn't cry for 30 years i'm afraid it it got me i um, Sh 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 sharon sharon i didn't cry since i was born to since last year and i met some sort of twin flame in australia and she gave me keys and yeah. i cried for an hour an yeah. hour never cried before yeah. It unlocks your emotions. Get the emotion code read, sir. Yeah. I'm going to end yeah. this, and you can continue talking if you'd like after this is done. But let me send send these people off that would love yeah. and gratitude. Uh, Dad, can we do a two minute grounding? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, Sharon, you might enjoy this one actually. This is something I did at Atlantis, but I'll do it very, very quick. And what you got to do is you got to visualize a, a circle around you, like a like an halo. Bright white halo, it's it's bringing white light, white source light, 
Uh, if you up the frequency, you can create a portal, but uh, we'll just call it an ALO at the moment. And then what you do is you just go to your crown chakra up and down. And what it's doing is it's healing you and grounding all the negativity you might have picked up in the day. So it goes two down, uh, four inches down, two inches up, four inches down, two inches up. Four inches down, two inches up. If it changes colour, like red, fire, dragon red, it means it's clearing attachment. Yellow, it's you helping your emotions. So it goes all the way down, all the way up to your root chakra, all the way down to your feet. It's doing it two, four down, two up, four down, two up. When it gets to your feet, channel moon energy from your cow chakra all the way down to clear everything. And then any negativity put into the earth. I know it's very, very quick. And then just have a few seconds of that heavy breathing. And that's it. That normally takes 10 minutes, by the way. I love grounding. I've got a good That, that was from Atlantis. Thank you. For t 20 years, I used to think it was a, like a, an, a, not an halo, like a crystal thing that just went down. And then someone said, that sounds like an halo. And I thought, it is an halo, isn't it? <laughs> so I was given Mine. that, but I wasn't told what it was. Mine slipped. All right. When everybody's done. Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for having me. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. We'll see you next month.